Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to show you an animated map I created in After Effects in GeoLayers. Uh, this map I stylized using different layers, and I'm going to show you how I got uh, the inspiration for this map uh, using a training program that I recently uh, finished. This map is of Ukraine and what's going on there in terms of the invasion of Russia uh, invading Ukraine. So this map is going to demonstrate and illustrate the invasion from uh, resources online. Definitely what's going on in Ukraine is uh, horrific and my heart and thoughts go out to uh, those Ukrainians and also to the Russians that are uh, protesting against Putin. I'm going to show you how you can create a map like this for yourself. So if you have a project that you want to have different forms of a stylized map that also animates, then you can use these techniques to apply to that project. Hi, so I'm going to show you on my computer uh, how I came up with these maps and also with the layers in After Effects. So I'm going to go step by step in terms of the three maps that I created uh, in GeoLayers. So I wanted to recreate this map that I found on New York Times and I wanted to use you know the white and the brown. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up GeoLayers, you're going to add a 4K composite, and then you're going to add this style. Once you do that, you're going to search for Ukraine, and you're going to add and download the feature. Also, you're going to do the same thing with Russia. Then you're going to use the different kinds of, um, I guess, uh, animation features that you can animate, so that you can create this brown and white look. And really, I would just suggest playing around with different blend modes including screen and add and this is what I came up with. For the second map I wanted to you know develop this uh, style that I came from uh, seeing it on Wall Street Journal and I wanted to get the gray and the white and, the, and this kind of mustard look and so what I did is I actually grabbed a snapshot from the Wall Street Journal uh, image here and then I use that to add to the map. So you can do that in GeoLayers. And then I play it around with um, the different colors in order to get the right kind of look. And so what I wanted to do is to animate from above and to move, you know, animate in, uh, which is kind of gives a cool effect. So in order to do that, I searched first for Ukraine. And also what I wanted to do is add um, borders around Ukraine, much like the map uh, from Wall Street Journal. So first I played with black, but then I obviously saw that it's more of a white color. So I used the white color uh, and uh, used it as a border. So for the third and final map, I'm going to show you this another Wall Street Journal map that I um, saw online. So what I wanted to do is kind of use a more realistic map and, um, you know, kind of give this um, more, I guess, Google map sort of look. And so I wanted to zoom in from, uh, you know, above Ukraine into Kiev. And um, in order to do that, I, you know, set the time, the zoom out um, keyframes, and I zoomed in, um, you know, and rotated it slightly as well as um, the pitch. So there you go. This is how I created that map. So to create the stylized map, I'm going to just suggest that you look up a juice online and look up this uh, American soldier uh, training program. Uh, he'll give you the skills and the techniques to learn how to use After Effects uh, using this kind of rough look uh, that uh, is very inspired by, um, you know, I guess I would say uh, a true detective kind of look that um, I definitely was inspired by. And, but I would definitely suggest checking out his work as what I did is I basically just added these GeoLayer maps to many of the skills and techniques I learned from his training program. 
And so I don't want to pull completely from his, you know, program just to kind of repeat what he said. But once you learn some skills there, you can then develop and add it to uh, any kind of given map. So basically what I think I did is I blended these two types of styles and they kind of create this kind of gritty war-like look, uh, wartime look to uh, the map. So if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.